there's one aspect of ageing I find more terrifying than any other. The effects of ageing on my brain. I'm trying to catch up with Professor Mark Matson. Mark is a leading expert on the ageing brain. His research suggests that fasting may help delay the onset of diseases like Alzheimer's, dementia and memory loss. Very good. How are you doing? Hi there, Michael Mosley. Mark Madsen. Hello. You work here? <laughs> yeah. I work here? No, nor do I work out here. <laughs> We're heading down into the basement of the National Institute on Aging. Okay. Yep. Hidden away down here, there's a special mouse he's keen to show me. Uh, radial arm maze. This mouse is exploring a maze. It's a memory test designed to see how well he remembers where he has found food before. It's kind of healthy, doesn't it? So the food's actually in there, isn't it? The food's in here. It's a the mice they study are destined to develop Alzheimer's disease. Normally, they succumb within a relatively short time. But when these mice are put on a diet of feast days and fast days, what Mark calls intermittent energy restriction, the results are incredible. So that the animals on intermittent energy restriction, they'll live much longer with normal, at least as best we can test, normal learning and memory before they start having problems. So significantly longer? Yeah, highly significantly. We, we found in uh, one study six months to a year. But that's the equivalent in a human of the difference between developing signs of Alzheimer's at, say, the age of 50 and the age of 80 or yeah. like that. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. So you On the other hand, you. when the mice eat a fast food diet, they go downhill much earlier. We give them lots of sugary drinks. A high-fat diet, exactly, and we put fructose in their drinking water. And that has a dramatic effect in, in uh, the animals will have an earlier onset of the learning and memory problems. How much sooner? Um, three to four months sooner. Wow. So that is the equivalent of them developing Alzheimer's in their sort of 30s and maybe early 40s. Right. It? So far, they've only done studies in mice, but they're about to carry out human trials. How good is the evidence that if someone like me were to start on intermittent fasting, uh, it would cut my risk of brain disease of broadly? I, th I think for, from the human standpoint, it's, uh, if we go on a scale from poor to good to very good to excellent to outstanding, it's in the very good to excellent range. That's the way I would categorize it.